welcome to another haul video. So I just got back from Comic-Con London, which was on the 28th to the 30th of October, and I have bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's actually been about a week since I got back from the event, and I've been dying to like just get everything out and make this video. I had a really great time at the event, and I actually recorded some vlogs there. I will leave the links to those in the description. I try not to give away too much of what I've bought in those vlogs, just so I can like make a haul video to show it off there. I think I've actually made two haul videos now of going to previous Comic-Cons, and so this is my third, I think. But the first thing that I want to show is probably my favorite thing that I got at the event. So if you've seen previous haul videos, you know these little guys. I got these little acorn babies from previous Comic-Con events. They are made by someone called Rach Makes. I will leave a link to their shop in the description of this video because I absolutely adore all of the stuff that they make. <laughs> this time around, I didn't buy an acorn baby. I know, I know. But instead, I bought something. I would say, is it better? I'd say it's on par. They're, they're all, all the stuff's pretty good. I do actually show this in my part one comic-con vlog and this wait okay he's been stuck in this box the whole time because i wanted to unbox here is fen rach actually named him let me get you out oh my gosh you're so soft you are never going in there again oh my gosh i love you i'll keep the cane separate for now while i'm holding you but yes, this is Fen. They are a cute little art doll. And look at their little face. Look how adorable. <laughs> and they have this little, little pouch of foraging goodies that they've been collecting. And I love these little charms as well that are on them. And you're so soft and cute in your little hood. And Fen is going to be in the back of all of my videos and live streams from now on, I believe. Let's find you a little spot, Fen. How about back here? I need to move some candles out of the way. I've got too many candles at the moment. There you go, I can put you by the pine cones. I might move him elsewhere, but I'll leave him there for now. I don't even know if you can see him on the camera. And from that same stand, I also bought something for Lola, my plant. There's a shot of Lola, if you don't know who Lola is. So Lola already has a tiny Kylo Ren lightsaber in her pot, which I think is absolutely adorable. But I wanted to get more little things to put in the soil and stuff like that. And I found the most perfect thing. Look at this little friend. But I liked this one because it looked like it was wearing like a turtle shell or like a snail shell. And this is going to go on the soil inside Lola's pot. And because it was Halloween weekend, I thought I'd buy this little ghost friend as well. Once again, there were a few like varieties of these guys, but I decided to go for the one that has his like arms in the air because it's like partying. And once again, you can go down here. So I'm definitely not doing this in any specific order. I'm just kind of picking things up and then showing it to you. Oh, here we go. I bought something from like a crystal stand. I bought two things from here, actually. This I just thought looked really cool. It's a moss agate. And from the same stand, I bought this ring, but it's like a stretchy, stretchy ring. And I thought it would just be a nice one to kind of fiddle with. I actually don't know what the mineral or gemstone or whatever is. It's like kind of see-through, so it might be a quartz. There seems to be some kind of like sticks and stuff in there. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just thought it looked pretty. And these were from the Crystal Spectrum. That is their card for anyone interested. Since we already spoke about one ring, let's talk about many, many, many rings. Let's start with my favorite one because I got these from my friend Leozor and Leo has started a jewelry company called the Jewelry Patisserie and honestly their jewelry is so so good and I'm not just saying that because they're a friend. I like these ones especially because they're adjustable and you can just put them on like any finger and then like tighten them up but I got this one which is a moon and a little star and this one which I'm going to slide onto my pinky finger and it's a little hummingbird with a flower. You know when you're getting good quality jewelry because I can compare these two with the other rings that I got, which are really nice rings, but for example, this one has already bent funny. Uh, actually, a couple of them have. This one's kind of gone a bit weird as well. So these three rings were from a stand where they had like loads and loads and loads of rings everywhere. There we go, I'll, put, I'll stack the two together. So hopefully you can see there's one that has like a black kind of obsidian looking gem in there. They definitely don't feel real, but they look cool. And then the other two, now I couldn't choose between blue and red. And I think it's because I felt like they looked quite Star Wars-y and they look nice together, honestly. But I have been wearing them kind of like one on one hand, one on the other. But all these rings, I really love. I will also leave the link to where I got these rings in particular uh, in the description as well. If you're looking for rings, earrings, necklaces, definitely go and check out Leo's shop. Okay, I've got one more jewelry thing to show and I'm actually already 
wearing one of them. So I got these ear chains from a place called Dragon Chains and I've been wearing this a lot. I haven't tried on the black one yet. This is the black one I got. Yeah, I haven't seen what that one looks like yet, but I was like, I might as well get one of each color. <laughs> and I actually did buy from these people before and I wear that jewelry like every day as well. Let's show a comic book now because I haven't done that yet. I have bought the first edition of the Mandalorian comic. I haven't heard anything about this for some reason. Apparently it came out about three months ago, the first issue. That's what the guy at the stand said anyway. But I thought the artwork looked really cool. You can't go to Comic-Con without buying comics. And the second comic book that I bought, I actually got signed. So Hell to Pay is Will Sliney and Charles Suley's new comic book series that they're bringing out. The first edition has only just come out, but I read this on the train and it's really good. <laughs> Even though this is the first issue, I am kind of hooked in already. And I'm really excited to see where this goes because you can tell a lot of love has been put into this comic. The writing is amazing, the artwork is amazing and I'm just like happy that I got it signed as well and usually I don't get things signed but they were there while I was buying it so I was like go on then <laughs> this is something quite cute and small but I'll show it off anyway now that Halloween is over we can start thinking about Christmas right is that, is that allowed yet but I have bought some Christmas cards and wrapping paper now you can't show these to Stampy because I think they're gonna be Stampy's Christmas cards and wrapping paper but I had to I had to it's corgis look I don't know which one I'm going to give to him I might just give him both of the cards why not <gasps> I can do one from Alex and one from May is that sad it is is, but I'm doing it. <laughs> look how cute. And the wrapping paper. Oh my gosh, the wrapping paper. Just look at the tag. I don't know if you can see this very well, but it's so sweet. It's like Alex and May. This is the company. It's called uh, Sparkiro. Sparkiro. And they have a set of illustrations called the Corgi Cafe. Since winter's around the corner, I thought I would invest in a beanie. And I have also been wearing this every day since I bought it. I don't know the name of the company off the top of my head, but this is the company where I got this beanie from. And it's got moons on it. It's like moon phases. But yeah, like I said, I've been wearing this pretty much every day since I bought it. I also got this little charm and I think I'm going to put it on my bag. I'll edit in the company name because once again, I forgot what they were named. It's got a little griffin on it and it's got these really cool colored beads. This might be the final thing. It's a bit of a random one, but I wanted to show it off anyway. So Stampy's really big into Elden Ring at the moment. And when I asked him what he wanted from Comic-Con, he said, oh, could you get me something Elden Ring? And so I found this and I got it framed as well. We have some artwork that is like this that we haven't framed yet from the last Comic-Con. But this time I thought if I buy the frame, then I'll put it up faster. And Stampy did tell me the name of this character because he was like, oh, if you want to seem smart in your haul video and know the name of the character, then I'll tell you. But I forgot the name. Is it Samuel? It's probably not Samuel. <laughs> so there's one more thing that I wanted to show. It's not something that I got at Comic-Con, but it's something that I took to Comic-Con. I may have bought another lightsaber, but listen, okay? When I went to my first Comic-Con in London, I saw this lightsaber and I was like, wow, that's the most beautiful lightsaber that I've ever seen. I took a picture of it. I think it actually was in my vlog as well. And isn't this beautiful? And it is for like combat and duel. It might have to uh and anyway stunning lightsaber and i finally finally bought it here it is so this was made by the silver sabers forge which are the people that actually run the lightsaber classes at comic-con and they make these sabers they are proper combat sabers the tech is all under warranty and it's just stunning oh my gosh wait look at this i hope you can see the etchings but i love this bit on the back as well like the round bit Every time I look at it, I just get so happy. And it's perfect for spinning as well because it's so round. Oh, I'm hitting the ceiling. I wanted to customize it a little bit. So I took off the covering. So there's like a little bit of glue here, but I'm gonna like wrap that with something. I don't know what yet, but just, just, just admire it for a second. My goodness. So this is the only color it can be, but it's such a beautiful, like icy blue color. And I think that that color goes really well with the design that's on the hilt. I have done very, very well this Comic-Con. <laughs> At this point, I think I've got eight lightsabers. Is it a problem? No. Do I need to come up with a better storage solution? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so that's it. That is everything that I bought at Comic-Con in October. Oh my gosh, I bought a lot of stuff, but I don't think there's one thing that I regret buying. Like everything I love so much. I like getting things that I definitely will be using. And you know, if it's something that makes you happy, then 
why not? But I hope you have enjoyed this haul video. I'm happy because I can now like play with all my things now. And yeah, I'll definitely be going to other Comic Cons in the future. My next event is actually gonna be the Star Wars Celebration. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog that yet. I feel like I need to. And I am expecting to be buying some stuff from there. I'm not gonna go crazy. I don't need any more lightsabers. Don't quote me on that. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Like I said before, I will leave the links to the vlogs that I made in the description and also links to as many of the shops that I bought from as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you sometime soon. Goodbye.